Right, welcome back guys uh, to the continuation of Mortimer's Adventures and today is a special day. Today it's Friday and it's officially my very first day of summer holidays. <laughs> yep, yeah. we've been late, we've been waiting for that for such a long time. It's been a, a very hectic and very very busy, especially last two months at work, so I'm so excited to just at last have a few moments to wind down and have a rest and chill and enjoy my time with the family and board games and, and everything. So I thought I would um, celebrate that with a short um, episode of Mortimer's Adventure and <clears throat> accompany ourselves with this fine whiskey. This time we're drinking Highland Park 15 years old loyalty of the wolf this is something new that i haven't seen before this is a one liter bottle i have a feeling it's a duty-free shop release or something like that it's a, it's got a strange alcohol volume of 42.3 percent i think it's it's just marketing yeah thankfully it's just natural color yeah it says on the back label here vanilla sponge cake baked apples cinnamon and light smoky peat so these are, this is the uh, typical palette for Highland Park, distilled all the way up in the north of Scotland in the Orkneys. So um, yeah, fantastic whiskey. I bought it at my local shop for around 100 euro, I suppose. So it's quite pricey, especially these days with all the inflation and, and all the crap that's going on around in the world. Um, so yeah, you just have to, you know, spend a little bit to enjoy your time, uh, especially when it's your holiday, summer holidays. So there you are. We'll be sipping that in the background. So I hope you don't mind me doing this and that in the background. So I'll just put it on the side for the time being. And let's go back to more Temer. Um, last time we managed to obtain a lot of gear. Um, yeah, we've got stacks. So there's the forge, the zombie Bumina troll is, uh, is covering that, there's the forge. But before we go to the forge, I want to reach the two dragon artifacts, which I need to open this gate, leading me to the dragon boss. You can't see him on camera? Well, you can't see him on camera. We'll focus on him when we get closer. What I'm thinking of uh, having in the camera view is the central portion of the map <clears throat> where the action is going to take place at the moment i have my uh who is he is he um goblin where are you matey yeah he's the goblin archer boss and these are the goblin warriors that managed to uh, come round, and we have to deal with them it's the beginning of a new turn so it's our turn to go now and i have a feeling i'll begin with our <coughs> Re, uh, raised leader first he's got um what is it that he's carrying he's carrying the inspiring drums so it's two yellow dice that he's going to attack with two yellow one black one blue um it's the goblin warrior so they have the fluffy buff that gives them additional blue die for defense <coughs> okay we'll see See, I can't do anything else to support my leader with, but let's have a look. This is a blank. This gets defended. One wound. Okay. What is the claw for the Goblin Warriors? It applies only on attack. So this gets resolved. No mana, just one damage. They have three, three health points each. So it's down to two damage. So I'll build a stack of five. HP for both the minion and the master. Well, the leader. Okay, so that was our leader. Now I can go. So I'll spend my first action to to do what? To I suppose to use my dragon crossbow and the uh, melee attack. So these and a shadow because I'm in the shadows and I'll spend one mana. And activate my heavy gauntlets, which give me uh, two damage, which I'll indicate with that dice. 
And am I going to do anything else? On attack with my prime helm, can you see that on camera? I can ignore two scratches if, if they happen to roll any. I could steal, take the attacking mobs item. To be honest with you, I don't quite quite get that item. Leprechaun slippers. When I'm defending for three mana, I can take the attacking mobs item. So does it really mean that I take it for one activation or I don't know. I'll just play it as one activation. Anyways, I'll spend one soul to boost my damage by two using my Death's Shadow rank one. So it's additional two. I'm hoping to deal five damage. I should be fine now. Let's roll the dice. Ooh, look at that. This is a blank. Two damage gets defended. I get three souls all the way to four and four damage goes through. So one damage, re one HP remains. So one of them dies. Where's the boss? It's like this. Um, let me put them away. Let me put them away. Um, guys, where's your, where's your tray? Uh, your tray must be here. Yeah, I misplaced. There you go, should be like this. Okay, so one of them die. Dies, I get one XP, I get one soul, and leader remains with two HP, four damage, five, with one HP, with one HP. So that was my first action. I'll attack him again, doing exactly the same. So I lost that mana. Okay, let's put it there. I'll spend one mana. Spend one soul, right? And I will use my dragon, dragon, what's it called? Dragon crossbow and attack with melee, shadow. Um, no black, because there's no minions, but two blue as a result of his buff. Let's have a look what we, we have. Oh, that's terrible. Blank, blank, one damage, one defense. Four damage goes through, he dies. Okay, so he dies and I can I can summon him as my as my rebirth leader, but is it really worth it? Not really. Let's loot him first, okay? I get the skeleton blade, which gives me one yellow in attack and attack for one mana. I can heal, so eh, nothing great. I get the Fluffy reward immediately deal two wounds to each enemy in the dungeon. What? So I will deal two damage to each enemy. So the Abomina Troll has 10 health, so I will reduce him to eight. Awesome. <laughs> I like it. And then the satires who are on the bridge right there in the in the left corner of the camera they have 12 so i'll reduce them to 10 beautiful very nice so this gets discarded okay goes into the uh, discard pile they go into but where is the what did i do with um with the uh, treasure token. Where's the treasure token gone? Did I drop it on the floor accidentally? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. There was a rare, rare... There it is. I dropped it here. Yeah, there it is. Um, so there's a rare treasure. Goblin warriors, they go into my treasure trophy. Not treasure trophy, um, uh, enemy. Trophy. So this is the rare treasure deck. Let's take I don't know. Let's say let's take this one. Ooh, it's another helm. Gleaming helm. It's a shadow bane set helm. When I'm in the light, attack two mana after combat. Heal equal to wounds dealt. Hmm. I think my prime hell is slightly better. This goes back into the. Loot bag, okay. 
And there we are. That was our second second action. So what is it that we can do now? I think well, we can proceed either here or there. He will move one, so one, and open the doors. So that's my third action. Open the doors, and let's see what it is. It's a spike trap room. Add one spike trap token to the zone straddling the door inside the chamber. So we have two, two traps. Oh, come on. That's not very good. Where are the um, spike trap tokens? Here they are. We will pull one, so there's going to be two. Okay, look at that. Yeah, we have four that I managed to find. Oh, that, that one was a blank. Okay, sorry. So let's shuffle these so I don't know which one is which. Da -di -da -di -da, like that, like this, like that. This one. The one on the top. So there's two actually. <laughs> right. So that was my first MP. Second MP opened the doors. Now, do I want to go in there? I have my full HP. Um, I think I need to. So for my final action, first MP, I go in. So first spike trap is two wounds. Oh, that hurts. The second one is one wound. Oh, that also hurts. So three wounds in total that I, uh, that I received. So that was my first MP. Do I want to open the doors? No, I have a mob in here, so I don't want to do that. I will spend one so to heal two wounds and i think i'll finish my activation right here i suppose yeah that's what i'm going to do so our our zombie buddy he just moves one if i remember correctly yeah he moves one and the satyrs satires they move two okay uh darkness trucker so one treasure token Treasure token, treasure token, yeah, one like that goes into the bag of goodies, yeah. I cannot level up, I cannot do anything else, so I suppose it's my turn to go. <coughs> hmm. Right, so I'll move one with my with my leader buddy. I'll, I suppose I'll just, you know, first activation. Open the doors. Let's see what it is. Um, and it's a repair room. The active hero may keep this card until the end of the quest and discard it when defending to use one blue. Lovely. Forgot to discard that one. So there was nothing, <laughs> nothing <laughs> literally bad that uh, happened as a result of me opening that door. But now I have to spawn a mob level level three mob right level three mob and level three mob that we're going to to uh, to summon is is oh abomination and runners okay right let me look them up Okay, so I've got the Abomination and Runners. These aren't painted, unfortunately, but they'll just uh, fit in thematically quite nicely with all the zombies and undeads. So this is the Abomination and Runners. Their fluffy aura is frosty. Attack Defender takes one frostbite, okay? And their item that they're carrying is something that we've already seen before, which is a stone club. So one yellow, one orange, quite strong. And they have six HP each and they are level three um, mob, yeah? So that was my second, ac uh, second action, no, thir uh, first action. I opened the door, I still have one MP. What do I want to do? Do I want to go in? No, I don't want to go in because, um, because if I do, I will not be able to use my second orange dice, which no, I suppose I'll just stay here. Use my use my second action to attack them. 
I will attack them with two orange, yeah, for my dragon crossbow. I'll spend one mana to boost my damage with two, spend one soul to provide me additional two damage. There's two of them, so they defend the abomination and runners. They don't have any defense dice, which is absolutely fantastic. So no blue, but two black. I attack in shadow. So I suppose that's that. Uh, ranged attack at two fires to the defender. So I'll set my leader on fire. Okay, two, two of these, one of that, plus two, plus two. That's that. Let's have a look. Let's roll it. Okay, that's a blank. Whew, that's a strong attack. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's have a look what happens. Uh, one claw, the mob plus one action, has one action plus round, per round, and an attack. The claw applies on attack. They, they require two to have any effect. So this claw that has no effect and one scratch. <clears throat> and if I'm in shadows, I will take advantage of my prime helm and ignore two scratches. There's only one, so that gets uh, blocked. Okay, and now let's count all the damage. Two, four, six, nine damage plus one mana. So I get that mana back and nine damage goes through. They have six each, so it's 18. So one of them dies. This one dies. I get one XP, one soul, and the other one is reduced to three health. So in total, they have nine, nine health. Five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I dealt half of their damage. So he's dead. Okay, brilliant. Good, good, very good. I'll do it again for the first for the third action, right? Spend one mana, spend these two. So like this, two of these, one of that, and this one. No blue because they have no uh, they have no defense, right? Ooh, ooh, that's a blank. Oh my god, look at that! They absolutely destroyed six. That's ten damage. They have nine in total, so they die. So I get one XP for the minion and two XP for the leader plus one for killing a mob. So up to seven, I get three souls and I get to loot them. Now this one, I mean, come on, look at that. This is a very nice leader to be summoned, although he has no defense, but we'll see about that when our uh, goblin archer leader dies. Okay, I'll grab that. Oh, I forgot to pull a um, loot token for, for the Ab Abomina Troll, and it is a rare treasure. Okay, let's have a look what the rare treasure is. All right, rare treasure that we pulled. Oh, a royal mace, jewel wield, attack, ignore one black. And one orange. Yeah, okay, we'll grab that. We'll grab the stone club as well. Okay. <clears throat> um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, um, reward, add one frostbite to any, any enemy in the dungeon. Okay. So add it to our big guy here, and he will lose one turn as a result of that, which is fantastic. Because he won't be able to do anything next turn. Okay, like so. Let's remove these guys off the board, like so. And my final action, I go in for one. And then I will spend one to interact with that, gain seven XP, which boosts me to 14. And I need 12 to level up to level four, which is great. Okay, so, whoo, look at that. What? Devil's horn. 
two-handed, it's like a staff or something, attack one, what does that mean? Plus one, infinity? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I don't know what, I haven't seen that symbol before. I don't know what it is. I'll um I'll have a look in in just a moment. But anyways, it's quite a powerful, powerful uh, item to have. We'll have a look what it is in just a moment. Well, apparently the infinity symbol means that it allows an ability to be triggered more than once during the same action. Wow, that's quite strong. Look at that. Because if I have say five mana, I can boost it by five. Oh my god. This is going to be very helpful against the dragon. Against the dragon himself. Beautiful, beautiful. So that was that was it. That completed my my activation, my round. Now the monsters get to go. The uh roaming monsters would activate first, but since he's got a frostbite on him, so he loses one turn, so he stays in position, and they go one, two. And they will stop right there. Mm -hmm. Darkness Trucker, another another mob. I am level. No, I should have I should have leveled up. Sorry, guys, I should have leveled up. So I'm level four now. Okay, so I get I get one XP and one mana as a result of that. Like so, I will learn a new skill which I think I'm going to go for revive one leader no I will go for uh, leader reborn uh, where is the roaming monster there it is uh, revive one roaming monster I haven't learned that yet so I think I'll, if I kill him I will be able to summon him which will be very very helpful so I leveled up. I got the skill. I got the uh, I got the um, health and mana. I also need to add one token to the treasure bag as a as a reward for leveling up. Now I get to spawn a new mob, which is going to be level four, and another level four mob that we're hoping to kill rather quickly is say this one. Which, which are the undeads. Okay, we've seen them before. No worries, the undeads. The item that they're carrying is fire, fire chain. Okay, interesting. Fire chain. Uh, the loot that they're carrying is just a common. Wow, okay. And we need a fluffy buff which is happy, plus one blue, uh, plus one black for defense. That's quite strong for the level five because that's quite fitting because the undeads, they have no, they have no defenses that they can use. Right, so we need the undeads. Right, so here they are on the bridge again. Another mob spawns at the bridge right level four we've done this we've done that so it's the beginning of our turn now again <clears throat> i suppose we need to get out of here because we're in the light but i will also want to look these and see what they are so my first action and first mp i interact with this loot token let's see what it is hopefully it's a uh, it's an epic treasure, right, it is, just a rare, not bad, not bad at all, this one, right from the middle, oh, flaming sword, it will be fantastic to put on one of my leaders, right, then the second MP to open the large chest, which gives me three rare treasures, Okay, let's clear it off the board and three rare treasures. Okay, one, two, three. 
random ones. So the very first one is magical robe. We already have that one. So I suppose we'll smelt it at the forge before we enter the dragon chamber. Second one is runic ring. Action, move one mob in line of, sun, light, in line of sight, one zone. Hmm. But I would have to unequip my heavy gauntlets. I don't think I want to do that. And the third one is Crusader Shield. Ooh. Ah, that's quite nice, actually. I could equip it because my crossbow is one-handed. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yes, I will equip that. And this shield, sorry, if you, if you missed it, on defense, it heals me one, myself only, and provides me with additional blue dice on defense. Good. Look at the amount of loot I already collected. Ready to go in uh, for for the forge. Right. So my second action is this. <clears throat> I can't do anything else because I have a I have a second MP. I could go in here, but I would be in the light. Um but what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my third action. Okay, my third action and attack these guys with my dragon crossbow. Yeah, with my dragon crossbow. So these two shadow, <coughs> I will spend one mana, one soul, to boost my damage by four. They defend with uh, two black. Uh, where are they? Satyrs and with two blue uh, and on and on uh, do, 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 do. yeah their fluffy buff is combat one scratch so they'll have additional they deal additional damage which I will block with my prime helm so that's my third action do, 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 do. can I do anything else? I don't think I can I'll apply to fire on them resulting from my dragon dragon crossbow so two fires on the boss right there you go mr boss and let's resolve the dice now this is blank <coughs> claw they they only have claw that applies on attack so this gets negated there's one scratch plus another one from the from the buff so i get two damage i would have gotten two damage if it hadn't been for my prime helm which says that if i'm in the shadow on attack i can ignore two scratches so there you go this gets resolved um now my damage goes in two four six eight nine one mana and one damage is blocked so eight damage goes through and what's their HP? Their HP is four each, but I reduced them to 10, right? So only two HP remains. So I kill the two guys, right? I get two souls, I get two HP up to six. These two satyrs die. Beautiful, very good, well done. Good job, guys. Let me put them back into their tray. So, so he will move one. He will attack. So if I kill him now, uh, yeah, I want to kill him now. So I'll attack again. Okay, I will do this, do that. Four damage. Is it an overkill? It might be an overkill. He will defend with these two. No black to orange. So my final action. Ooh, wow! Look at that. For for defense. So these the defended. <laughs> oh, oh! Eight damage. He has two HP left. And he dies. Our Satyr dies. Okay, not sure where he lives, our Satyr. I think he lives somewhere here. Yeah, over here. There you go. 
that's where he lives. Right, so let, let's uh, loot this guy, shall we? He had a rare treasure on him, like so. Let me put it back in the bag. Yeah. And we found a runic sword. We also found the runic ring, which is, they're not a, they're not a set. Shadow attack plus one orange. Ooh, that's actually not bad, to be honest with you. That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. They also had Devil's Sword. Equipped, attack, defender minus one shield, two yellow. Oh well, their card, level three, they go to my trophy pile and as a reward immediately deal three wounds to any one enemy in the dungeon. So of course I will deal that three damage to Abominatrol. Yeah, three damage. Abomina Troll gets wounded. <coughs> Discard the the reward card. Okay, like that. So our Abomina Troll is only five HP HP right now, so he's he's almost dead. Alright. So there we go. I can't remember if I moved that guy. Or if I didn't. I have a feeling that I haven't moved him. I can't remember, to be honest. Okay, if I can't remember, I won't move him. So that's the end of my activation. So now it's the enemy turn. One, two, right? One, he moves in, he closes in on Mortimer. Right, now it's the level up phase, cannot do that. I need 18, I only have six. Now, Darkness Trucker, we move one, we will uh, add additional yeah, token into the bag, yeah, like that. And now we have some options to do. I've, I have a feeling that we will stop this episode right here. This one is going to be slightly shorter, as I said, to celebrate my holidays, first day of summer holidays. With this fine bottle of whiskey. I'm going to uh, sip it with my wife and spend some time, some quality evening time with her right now. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a feeling that we're going to kill that guy, <laughs> this Abomina Troll, next turn and we will be able to summon him using our Monster Reborn a skill that we learned when we leveled up to level four. Uh, we have a lot of treasure uh, on us in our inventory. I will go to the forge right over here. But before that, I will collect the treasure from here so we will have more items to smelt and hopefully get some quality items to improve our equipment and go into the final chamber and face the boss. So hopefully that will take place um, during the next episode. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you shortly. Bye.